Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 185. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we are going to take listener questions. It is Listener Question Friday, and the question is this. How do I decide what home improvements to make? You're gonna learn how to determine whether investing in a home improvement is a good idea or not. But first, have you checked out the Creating Wealth podcast with Jason Hartman? It's full of amazing information and over 700 podcasts about real estate investing. If you like this podcast, you'll like that one too. So here is our listener question today. Linda, I have a rental house that is also our beach house. I rent it out on VRBO, that's vacation rental by owner, for extra income. I've been wanting to make some cosmetic changes and wanted to ask your advice. I like painted baseboards better than wood baseboards. Should I change them? I also am thinking of replacing the carpet in the bedrooms to tile and the kitchen countertops from tile to granite or quartz. Is it worth it to make the investment? I love your podcast and listen religiously. Your advice would be greatly appreciated. And it's signed, Bonnie. Well, thank you for your questions, Bonnie. I really like this one. How does a person decide whether or not to make improvements on their home? Well, a lot of people just make the decision that they like something and they want to change it. And so they go ahead and change it. But the problem with just going with what you like is that it can affect the rental income if it's a rental, like Bonnie's case, or it can affect affect the saleability if it's your primary residence and you sell it someday. So just because you like navy blue walls doesn't mean everybody else likes navy blue walls. Now, that's not really a great example because that's so easy to fix. Just repaint your walls and that's a low-cost, easy fix. But I've seen people do some pretty crazy things like changing their countertops to a particular shade of green that not everybody is going to like. And that's an expensive investment that they made and an expensive repair or change for someone who's a new buyer to make. So the first thing I want you to do is go through these five questions when you're considering making home improvements on your primary residence or a rental property. Number one, Will it improve the value of the home? So that's always the decision where you want to start making a decision rather for investing in your property and improving the value. Is this change going to improve the value of your home? Now, in Bonnie's example, going from painted baseboards instead of having wood baseboards is not going to make any difference whatsoever. So she could spend you know, a couple thousand dollars on materials and labor and get absolutely nothing back for her money. So I don't recommend that you do the painted baseboards, Bonnie. Also, replacing the carpet in the bedrooms to tile. Well, personally, I prefer carpet in the bedroom because I like carpet under my feet. I don't like cold tile under my feet in the bedroom. So I prefer carpet. Now, You didn't say whether your carpet is worn out or not. Is this strictly just something cosmetic or is the carpet worn out? If the carpet's worn out, then you need to make a decision and either buy some new carpet or do the tile. Again, either one I don't think is going to improve the value of your home. So I would say go with what most people like, which I think is carpet under their feet. So I would say keep the carpet. And the third question you had was about going from tile countertops to granite or quartz. Well, that actually will improve the value of your home. Having granite will definitely improve the value of your home because granite can be perceived as a very expensive upgrade. And also the quartz is a nice upgrade as well. And people will really appreciate either one of those. So I think 
having a nice granite that's neutral or having a nice quartz that's neutral would be a good decision for your upgrade. So the first question we went to is, will it improve the value of the home? The second question is, how long will it take my money back if it's a rental? So you always want to look at, can you raise your rent a little bit because of the improvement? And if you can, then it means you're going to be getting your money back from investing in that improvement. So the fact that you can uh, raise your rent a little bit if you have granite countertops versus having tile countertops, I think it justifies number two as well. Number three, is it a matter of personal taste or does it appeal to most buyers? Well, I mentioned that before that people can get crazy with their personal taste and uh, forget that they have to appeal to a lot of buyers. You don't want to do anything that's going to make your home less attractive when you sell it or less attractive to rent if it's a rental. So you want to make sure that you're not doing anything of personal taste that's out of style or that's out of the norm. You want to stay within good taste and uh, something that people would like so that you get easier rentals or an easier sale when it goes time to sell your house. Number four, is this the best improvement I can make for the money? So when you're looking at baseboards or carpet or countertops, Yes, the countertops are the best improvement you can make for the money in your example, but maybe you don't have a garage on the house and maybe saving your money to build a garage might be a better investment overall than any of these other ideas. So if you have something that's really a glaring, uh, you know, that, that is missing from your house that's that most people would like and is a real negative to your house and to being able to sell your house or rent your house, then I would suggest that you fix whatever that really negative thing is. In this case, it would be having no garage. And number five, knowing that kitchens, bathrooms, and closets sell homes, does it fit within an improvement of one of those important categories? Because a nice kitchen, updated bathrooms, and large closets or closets with organization pieces in it really sell homes, those are the things that you want to prioritize first. You want to either upgrade your kitchen or make your bathroom more updated or do something to expand your closet or make it more organized so that instead of one bar across, you have maybe two rows of bars across for people to hang their clothes and thereby have doubled the size of the closet or the number of clothes that could hang in the closet. So those are the things you want to think about. I'll just go through these questions again really fast in case you're taking notes. Number one, will it improve the value of the home? Number two, how long will it take to make my money back if it's a rental? Number three, is it a matter of personal taste or does it appeal to most buyers? Number four, is this the best improvement I can make for the money? And number five, knowing that kitchens, bathrooms, and closets sell homes Does it fit within an improvement of one of these important categories? So if you pay attention to those things, Bonnie, and spend your money wisely on the things that are going to get you more rent or eventually get you a higher price when you sell your your house, that's what you want to focus on. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.